Hello everyone, this is Virtual Farmer Ken Bob, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we are playing a map called the Cow Farm, and the reason why I'm doing this, uh, I'm going to try to go over it here and explain. But uh, my kids, uh, all six of them, are out of town for the next three months. Uh, during the summer break and before they left I told them I said I'll go ahead and uh, try to do this so that I can start creating some content and have kind of a you know a purpose behind what I'm doing and so we all decided that I would start this cow farm and see how far I can make it before they get back uh, and I want to apologize right now if you hear in the background the uh, puppy barking, uh, well, I got a little puppy right before they left. So he's <laughs> he's out there not real happy because I'm trying to get all this done. So I, I didn't let him in the room with me. Uh, but anyways. So let's get started here. Uh, the first thing we're doing, of course, you know, I've got to have, have my uh, outfit and all that figured out. And here we are on the farm. This is uh, our house. We're actually across the street. I've been playing this map in a different version. Um, I better look. I don't know if I have the right one uh, put up here. Okay, yes, I do. On this map, as you can see, there are fields that are smaller and that's what we want i didn't want the big big fields because that's the cow farm extreme uh that's the one i've been playing on i haven't played on this farm yet but as you can see it's uh, got lots of fields and it's got two major uh well no i'm sorry not two but it's got a cow farm a large cow farm it holds 3500 cows and then it's got a sheep barn which will go down here and let's see where's the animals you'll have to forgive me uh, I still have a problem with my eyes where I can't see really well so I'm um, and I'm having a real bad time here lately it's really been difficult but we'll we'll try to trudge through this and uh, you know in, in, in on behalf of the kids because <laughs> I'm doing this to you know so they can have something to see and watch and see dad you know doing what he does but it doesn't say on here i thought it told the the amount i guess we'll have to actually go to the farm i mean to the uh to the yeah to the each individual animal uh location so let me see go back to the map i always forget it's all right here on this screen but we'll go ahead and come down here and visit and as you can see, right, well, I can't move this without, I don't remember what, what it is that I hit. Now there's something, if I tap it, then I can move the mouse. But anyways, it's down in the bottom right corner, cow barn large, and then the first line is animals. And as you can see, we're already preloaded with 1,060 uh, cows. And of course, uh, you know, it shows 3,500 max. So that's a pretty good amount of cows. <laughs> but anyhow, let's go ahead and what I'm going to do right now is let's go in here and let's get everything set up the way I like to set stuff up. I guess first of all, we need to find everything. It's hard, you know, once again, you know, kind of got to, I'm going to put it on here so I can see this. All right. So we go down here and the first thing I do is I'll go in here and uh, make where I can have unlimited number of contracts because that's how we're going to start it off. It's the only way I know of to make money. I mean, we do own the cows technically, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm still wanting to go ahead and do some contracts here. So I go through and I turn on everything. I, I hit the lazy farmers. Yes. And then we'll do harvesting, sowing, plow and cultivate, fertilizing, and weeding contracts. We'll do them all. 
I do not mess with the higher difficulty. I just, I'm, I mean, I just don't know much about that yet because I'm still learning the game. And then I do like to get the discount because we're going to be buying fields. Um, we might lease some. We do have the lease mod, which you can see uh, right here, the very first one. You can lease them. I, I'm, I don't really like to lease, but you know, to get started, we might have to because everything you put into the field uh, from surveying it with the um, precision farming mod, you can do the land surveys and all that. Uh, to check the field and everything you do it, it used to be in 19 farming simulator 19 that everything you did you lost and once you sold it or if you were leasing it and you returned the lease then everything you put into it you lose so you know I, I try not to buy it but we're gonna have to buy some grass fields at least we've got to have some way to feed our uh, animals so that's going to be our first focus is getting our grass going because we got cows and sheep. Uh, and then, of course, before we get horses, we'll need to get an oat field. Um, and then, of course, uh, I'm going to put chickens on the map. I don't they don't have chickens on here, but I'm going to go ahead and put chickens on it. And I believe what I use is eight percent. And I use six because that gives you 48%, I believe. Uh, and you can only go up to 50% max. And there's no other combination that you can really do that gives you uh, close to 50%. So, and, and once you get to the number here, you know, you're done. You can't go any further, so. I'm going to go ahead and set those settings up here and then I'm going to save the game and then now let's move on to the next setting. Let's go down here and this one I take off the auto save. That way it doesn't just sit there and keep resaving the game you know, and interrupting my uh, gameplay. Um, I'm going to change the name here since we're doing this. Uh, under the Virtual Farmer Sip Ken Bob series. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on here, but we'll put something here. I don't know if this will all fit. Well it won't all fit, but that's alright. I don't know what it means. All right, so I leave the time scale on real time. Right now I'm gonna turn it down to zero just because I don't want it to keep progressing time while we're doing this setup. Uh, I do leave uh, traffic on, I leave seasonal growth on, and so that every day uh, will basically be a week per month, I go ahead and put it to four days. Uh, you know, we could do three days and then it would be 10 days um, on the game, gameplay, 10 days for every day, but I'll just keep it at four days. So everything else looks like we'll leave it in here. I do not leave crop destruction on because it's just to me, it, I mean, you can run over grass and all that in real life and it doesn't destroy it. But, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to contend with all that. You know, I'm, I'm, I do try to play realistic, but there are just some things that I just, you know, I, I turn it off. So. Periodic plowing I leave, I leave field stone and weeds, you know, I want to have those elements in the game because it just gives it a challenge. Stop and go braking I turn on even though I use a steering wheel. Um, I do a lot of uh, shifting gears without raising my foot off the brake or changing the cruise control. And sometimes that doesn't work real well if you have stop and go braking off. I do not like the trailer fill limit. You know, that's one of those things that I, I sacrificed real, uh, realistic play for the sake of having a full trailer because we don't have to make a thousand trips compared to 900. I mean, I, I don't know what a better way to say that. I just, you know, we'll just take the trailer as full as it goes. Uh, I do not have any of the AI workers turned on. To me, that just spends money that I don't really want to spend. Uh, I don't quite 
completely understand this. I've never really gotten into the production. So eligible to buy, I just put it on anyone. I don't, you know, don't change much on these settings because I just don't understand them yet. Maintenance cost, we'll leave that at 100% because we're playing in the hard, you know, the hard level. Uh, and I don't really turn on the passenger extension, just haven't done that yet, not, not really played with it. I do have the mod, obviously, but I just never have played with it yet. So I don't want to, you know, be, make everybody else out there guinea pigs on that. <laughs> but uh, this stuff I don't really do a whole lot with because uh, it's all set up and it's uh, global for every game I play. I uh, do not believe there's anything I need to change. Yeah, that looks like everything's on there like it should be. This one I do go in. Uh, I don't like to use the engine starter. I just, to me, I just feel like I should have to turn it on and turn it off every time, not just hit the accelerator. I don't like the warnings, but it still shows them. So I just turn it off though, just because it's got an option. Uh, let's see, I think I just go, yeah, auto start and then steering and all that's always allowed. Okay. All right, that looks like everything on this screen is pretty much done now we go back in and I'm gonna tab I try not to tab a whole lot but I'm gonna do it right now because we're setting the cars up or the vehicles I hit control C and go into here and one of the first things I do is I go down here and if I can get my mouse to move I gotta find it oh there we go my mouse just wasn't rolling I turn off the brake force. I, I I like it to just freely roll. I'm, I've got the the a not the AI but the uh, the one that helps with uh, driving uh, the vehicle control. I've got that, and I've got a parking brake set. So we have to use the parking brake, or you know it'll keep rolling. I do modify the motor RPM, uh, and then I also turn on the cruise or traction control and then I turn off the transmission hood. So I'm going to go through and do that for all the vehicles I'm driving and then I'll be right back. Okay, we've got that done now on all the vehicles and I'll just go ahead and kind of course through them here. You can kind of see my steering wheel is jumpy. I don't know. I've got the giant steering wheel and side control panel that they uh, had back whenever I got 2019 and I think this steering wheel needs to be taken apart and cleaned up but I just haven't uh, braved that yet so it kind of you'll see me veer a lot and it's not because I'm doing it it's just this steering wheel it's just not clean or something so it kind of sits there and jerks around but anyways, here's our pickup truck, which we already saw an outside view of it. So it's sitting here parked in the house that uh, we start off in. But we'll go over to our next piece of equipment, which is our first combine. And it's a Kloss. Um, so we've got two combines total. Uh, but that's the first one. And then, of course, we have this Fint. Uh, and then we've got a case which uh, you know, I'm, I'm more of a case person, I just like them. But uh, we got a couple different cloth uh, vehicles, tractors and combines. Uh, but here is one of our case combines. And of course here in a little bit, I'm gonna have to go through and move everything because I've, I've got a spot where I park it all. Uh, like I said, I've been playing on a different map just to kind of see what the setup is and kind of figure out some things on my own. But this one's already got a corn header on it. Uh, I'm not sure how many he how many rows it is. I never really looked at that. But then we got our tractor trailer. Uh, it's got the 
the ag, ag trailer and then the we got a Mack truck that's a pretty nice truck uh, then we got our feeder our mixer mixer slash feeder to feed the cattle with and um, I use it to blow straw also and then of course we got a supply that it comes preloaded with whenever you get the farm I'm in mean the map uh, and then of course we have a loader here and I, I can't guarantee I won't mess up but I I'm gonna try to load everything that I do with this I don't have a whole lot of practice with it but I'm gonna give it a try so basically there we go there's the setup uh, the farm um, of course we kind of looked at the overview earlier but I'll go in here and kind of do a little bit more uh, as you can see the house that we're at is right here so everything that we have is going to be mostly up here on the north end of the map you know that's the edge of it right there and of course the cow farm where the loader is and all the bales of uh, feed and so forth and then our sheep farm here's the cat, uh, pig farm and then here's horses so at some point I plan on having every single bit of that loaded but that's the challenge you know we're gonna see how far we can get on all that uh, over the next three months and then of course if you go down to the south end here there's another uh, selling point um, for basically all the different products the bales the wool and then a, a regular grain mill but we're going to try and do everything we can and of course here's a forest over here it's not uh, you know it's it's got a lot of trees in it so <laughs> there's a lot of work that can be done over there if you're into forestry but right now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get off of here and then next time we come around we'll be getting started on a contract and see if we can to get some money coming in which as you can see we've got about 500,000 right now but uh, I just went ahead and went with the start from scratch and even though we don't own anything here we do uh, technically own the cattle and the sheep that are on the farm and we do have to feed them so uh, that's why it starts off with a little bit of food there for you to be able to do some feeding but here we got to get everything organized we got to get started on our fields and or on the fields no they're not ours uh, but as you can see all the headers and stuff are kind of laid around and there's some equipment laying around we need to buy balers or lease them we'll probably end up leasing the equipment too and I do have the lease to buy so uh, the lease to buy mod which means whenever we rent it uh, over time we'll be you know we'll be able to buy it so we don't just lose all that stuff that we bought or leased uh, now I wish they could do something like that with the fields but right now that's not a possibility that I know of so you know it's just something we'll just have to kind of eat the cost of but I don't think there's any I think the other one the other combines right over here at this uh, door I don't know I guess not well, I don't remember where the other mom uh, oh there it is I, I usually keep them parked here this is where they're gonna end up over time they're gonna end up here and then this one's gonna be where the other the case goes and then I, I, I usually group them by horsepower so the highest horsepower one um, will go here and then lower horsepower as we go down uh, and then of course the tractors since there's only three tractors uh, in my other play that I've been doing I've been making it with just three so I don't really plan on buying any more tractors right now but then again I don't own any fields so we're just doing contract work when the time comes for us to buy fields we may have to change that up but anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call this call this a day I mean we're not really doing much of anything uh, just kind of taking a tour of the map taking a tour of the map and kind of an equipment tour here 
and uh, we'll come back uh, next time and we'll start getting to work. So until we see you again, you all have a great day out there and stay safe out there.